In this video, we are going to solve this math Olympiad problem. Find the integer solutions of AB plus C equals 2020 and A plus BC equals 2021. You can pause the video and see if you can solve this Olympiad problem. Now let's solve this problem together. Let's note that when we are solving systems of equations, the number of unknowns in the number of equations must be the same so that we can easily find the solution. Now in this case, notice that we have three unknowns and we only have two equations. Let's also note that the difference between 2021 and 2020 is 1. So the first thing that we're going to do is let's call the first equation as equation 1 and the second as equation 2. And let's reverse the order of the two and let's perform subtraction. So subtract the quantity A plus BC minus the quantity AB plus C. That is equal to the difference between 2021 and 2020. Then let's remove the grouping symbol. Here there's no problem because it's preceded by plus sign. But in here, we need to distribute this negative sign. So this becomes negative AB and this becomes negative C. The right side is equal to 1. Now there's a common factor A here and A in the third term. There's a common factor C in the second term and in the last term. So let's rearrange the order and let's factor out A and C from these two groups. Notice that we have here 1 minus B and B minus 1. The only difference is the order is reversed, but the problem is the operation is minus. But let's remember that when we have 1 minus B, that is just the same as negative of the quantity b minus 1. To check, if you distribute this, you still get this negative b, negative times negative 1, you still get positive 1. That means this 1 minus b can be replaced by this form. You now have a negative sign outside the parentheses, and you have b minus 1 inside. And therefore, you now have this b minus 1 and this negative sign outside. Notice now that we have the same factor here that we can factor out. So the first term divided by b minus 1 is negative a. The second term divided by b minus 1 is positive c. The right side is still 1. Then we can also rearrange the order here to make the second factor be equal to c minus a. All the rest are just copied. What does this mean? We have here a product of two numbers that is equal to 1. and those two numbers are both integers. So what two integers, when multiplied, resulted to 1? There are only two possible ways. One is the first factor is 1 and the second factor is 1, or the first factor is negative 1 and the second factor is negative 1. So that means this b minus 1 could be positive 1 when c minus a is also positive 1 because their product is 1. But when b minus 1 is equal to negative 1, then c minus a must also be negative 1, so that the product is positive 1. So let's take a look at these two cases. So we have two cases here, and we are going to solve for a, b, and c in both of these cases. So let's take a look at this part here. b minus 1 equals negative 1. Then adding 1 to both sides of the equation, we have b equals 0. So we now have one value for the variable. Next, let's bring back these original equations. And let's substitute now the value of b to the variable. So if b equals 0, this becomes 0. And therefore, c is equal to 2020. In the second case, if b equals 0, this becomes 0. So a is equal to 2021. So we now know what's the value of b, the value of c, and the value of a. So we have one set of solutions for this case. And these are the three results. Next, in the other case, let's take a look at this part here. b minus 1 equals positive 1. Adding 1 to both sides of the equations that resulted to b equals 2. So again, we have the value of b now here to be equal to 2. And let's get our original equation again and substitute 2 for all instances of b in these equations. So we have a times 2 is 2a, copy the c and copy the right side. Here, a plus 
2 times c. So we have here 2c, then copy all the rest. Now we can solve this equation as a system of equations through elimination. We are going to multiply the second equation by negative 2. So here is the result. This a times negative 2 becomes negative 2a. This 2c times negative 2 becomes negative 4c. This 2021 times negative 2 becomes negative 4042. Then just copy the first equation. Then solve this by elimination. 2a minus 2a is 0. 1c minus 4c is negative 3c. 2020 minus 4042, that is equal to negative 2022. Divide both sides by negative 3. We now have the value for c. So we have the value for b, we have the value for c. We need to find the value for a. So let's find the value of a. So take again our first equation here. ab plus c equals 2020. We know the value of b and c. So substitute the value for b and for c. So we now have 2a plus 674 equals 2020. Then subtract 674 from both sides and divide by 2. We found that the value of a is 673. So we know the value of a, we know the value of c, and we know the value of b. We have the three values at the left side. So let's gather them all together. And this is now the result. To check, let's bring back our original equation. And let's substitute these values to the original equation. So starting from here, when a is 2021 and b equals 0 and c is 2020, we have this equation. But this part here is 0. So what's left is 2020 equals 2020, which is correct. Then take this second equation. A is 2021, B is 0, C is 2020. Again, this part here is 0. So we have 2021 equals 2021, which is correct. And at this left part, take this first equation. A is 673, B is 2, and C is 674. So multiply this to arrive at 1346 and add this to to arrive at 2020 equals 2020, which is also correct. Then take the second equation and substitute A equals 673, B is 2, and C is 674. Then perform the arithmetic computation. We again arrive at 2021 equals 2021, which is also correct. So it's verified that in this given system of equations, there are two sets of solutions. First, we have A equals 2021 and B equals 0 and C equals 2022. Or we can take this other set of solution, A equals 673 and B equals 2 and C equals 674. And this problem is now solved. Thank you very much. This is Lando Assistant and we hope to see you again in our next video. Bye for now.